doing today? It's your boy Jermaine from Shovel Nose Hogs back with another video. And for this video, I want to talk about the bedding that I'm now using for my snakes. Um, for those of y'all who just started watching my videos, originally I was using Aspen bedding. And uh, going into the Daytona Reptile Expo, that was like, what, a couple months ago, um, I needed to buy some more bedding. And I saw a vendor there that had a hemp bedding. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to give this a try and see how I like it. If I don't, I'll go back to the Aspen bedding. All right, so the product is called Royal Hemp Bedding, and it's actually based out of LaBelle, Florida. Um, the guy's name is Elaine Hernandez. And some of the benefits of using this type of bedding, as they have on their business card, I'll read it out, is it's supposed to maintain humidity, neutralizes odors, practice practically no dust, eco-friendly and green, renewable, curtails ammonia, and has superior absorbency. And um, as you can see, here's their business card right here, which is pretty cool. And um, they actually have, they come in three different uh, sizes in terms of like how you can buy it. You can buy the seven quart, which is $6.99. You can buy the 21 quart, which is what I got, which is $14.99. You can buy the 36 quart, which is $19.99. And then the bell of it, like the huge supply, which is $40. And that's approximately 33 pounds. So I actually have the 21 quart, and you can kind of see it right here. I probably used maybe a third of the bag so far, and um, still have a lot left. And so what I'm about to do is um, I'll bring out one of my snakes, and I'll show you how the bedding is in their enclosure, and I'll go over what I don't like and what I do like about it. All right, so uh, I got two of my snakes out and I'm gonna show you some of the things that I like about this bedding as well as some of the things that I don't like. So we got Cheeto here, which is one of my favorite snakes. I always like to put her on camera. And so as you can see, I'm using um, the hemp bedding for her. Some of the things that I do like about it is it's a lot more tolerant to dampness and wetness compared to the Aspen. You know with Aspen, once it gets wet, if they spill over their water dish, you basically have to replace it so it won't get moldy. Um, with this, this can handle it. Um, it's gonna dry a lot quicker. You don't have to worry about mold. And then it's really cool if you have like a, a snake or another reptile that needs high humidity, that needs, if their enclosures need to be missed down, um, this can tolerate it. You don't have to change it out as quick. Um, also, whenever they use the bathroom, um, this actually dries up their urine and feces a lot more, making it easier for you to spot clean. And then it kind of takes away the smell a lot quicker. So um, it's definitely good in that case. Some of the things that I don't like about it, um, I actually just dumped her water dish out. Um, it's a little messier compared to the Aspen. So whenever they're um, slithering around like Cheeto's doing, and they can, it's, it's a lot easier for them to get some of this hemp in their water. And then another thing about it is, as you can see, after I lift her water dish up, it sticks to my dishes a lot more, which I don't really like. So I feel like I have to clean out their water a lot more often, which isn't too bad, but it can be a hassle, especially I have to rinse all this stuff off of it. Um, and so that's one of, that's one of my biggest issues. It's just the water dishes. Now I'm about to show you my other snake cheeto i mean uh, frosty the corn snake so she's in her little hide box but whenever you have a snake this size like a newborn hog nose or corn snake um, because of the color of this bedding it is basically impossible to spot clean because you cannot see where they pooped at and so like with her um, and then when I switch over my other two baby hog nose snakes to this bedding, I'm going to have to change it out more often, even though it does a good job of absorbing and drying out the poop. I just can never find her poop with this type of bedding compared to Aspen. Um, I was easily able to find the poop and was able to spot clean. Um, but other than that, I do like the product. I think I'm going to continue using it. Um, and then the person that uh, produces it, doesn't live that far from me and he said at the expo that he would be willing to travel to my city to deliver so um and i feel like the prices are pretty good so if you're interested in this product especially if you live in florida i will leave their instagram account in the description and if they have like a website i'll leave that down as well and 
that's it for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a nice day.